Welcome to Vogel Timeline, our quarterly report bringing you the latest news here at the Vogel 3 and 4 site near Augusta, Georgia. Recently, Mark Rockhorse, Executive Vice President for Vogel 3 and 4 Construction, hosted all hands meetings for the craft and field non-manual personnel to address the future of Vogel 3 and 4. During the meeting, Rockhorse reiterated that Georgia Power will continue work to complete its cost to complete analysis and work with the project co-owners and the Georgia Public Service Commission to determine the best path forward for customers. He encouraged everyone to continue to focus on safety above all else. On the construction side of the project, panels for the AP1000 passive containment cooling water tank, module CB20, have begun to arrive. When completed, each tank will be comprised of 112 panels and will sit atop the AP1000 containment vessel. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission released the testing results for the second class of initial license training candidates. All 19 candidates have passed the exam, with the written portion being the final step in the overall exam. Included in this rigorous testing were simulator scenarios and job performance measures. Congratulations to all of the newly licensed operators. Training, licensing, and qualifying operators is a major step in demonstrating that Southern Nuclear is prepared to take control of the plant, initiate startup activities, and lead the station. Cybersecurity is a key consideration in the Vogel 3 and 4 project. The operational readiness team recently achieved a key milestone by completing a critical piece of its overall cybersecurity program. The Cybersecurity Assessment Team, or CSAT, is a cross-functional team involving operations, maintenance, security, emergency preparedness, engineering, nuclear cyber IT, and cybersecurity. This big accomplishment brings Vogel 3 and 4 another step closer to achieving compliance with the NRC regulation for cybersecurity. Recently, we had the opportunity to speak with Roger Hanna, Director of Public Affairs for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in the Atlanta office about NRC's role in the construction of Vogel Units 3 and 4, including the Commission's annual assessment of Vogel 3 and 4, construction, and operational readiness activities. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission holds an open house or some kind of public meeting in the vicinity of not only operating reactors but also the reactors under construction like Vogel 3 and 4. The reason we do that is twofold. Number one, to make our inspectors and our staff available to people who may live in the area, who may have questions or concerns about our inspections and how we oversee the progress at the plant. We also do it to actually talk about our assessment of the construction. Uh, we do that on an annual basis as we do with operating reactors and we provide a report early in the following year and then this meeting or open house gives us an opportunity to talk about that and address how we assess the performance of construction activities at Vogel 3 and 4. The NRC construction inspectors that are at the Vogel site inspecting construction activities at three units three and four uh, have a very background. Each of those inspectors not only has some sort of engineering background and a lot of them have experience in other positions, but they have to go through a very rigorous qualification program to become NRC construction inspectors. One of the things that they do as construction inspectors is they basically have access to everything that's going on at the construction site. They want to make sure that they look at the activities that are taking place as they take place, whether it's pouring concrete, whether it's putting some sort of piece of equipment in place, and make sure that the people doing the construction activities are doing those activities uh, to meet the requirements of the license and to meet the NRC regulations. It's very important for NRC inspectors to have a good working relationship with the company either building or operating a nuclear power plant. So that aspect is probably paramount to ensuring that you get good information from people, that you have access to the proper activities, and our construction resident inspectors literally talk to the people at the site doing the construction on a daily basis. Uh, they're involved in meetings, they're involved in ensuring that they know what's going on from a schedule standpoint, and if that schedule changes, that they're aware of those changes. 
Uh, it's also important that they keep an arm's length because we are the regulator to make sure that the site's built according to the design and according to the license. So uh, they can't get too cozy with the staff, obviously, but they do want to make sure that they maintain that close working relationship. They want to make sure that they have access to all the information they need to oversee construction activities, but they need to keep far enough away that the company or the subcontractors understand that the NRC is the regulator and if we find something that's not being done according to the regulations, that will be flagged and we will follow up appropriately. Thanks Roger for that very informative look at the vital role the NRC is playing in the Vogel 3 and 4 project. Well, that's all the news we have time for today. Thanks for joining us as we share the latest updates here at the Vogel 3 and 4 site. We look forward to keeping you updated on this project and seeing you next time here on the Vogel Timeline Report.